Okay, in this video I'm going to complete exercise 1c on page 25 of Fundamental Applied Mathematics. This question is a carbon copy of question 4. So once again I'm going to push through this quite quickly. If you don't understand the theory, put down a comment on the video. Or actually look at the videos where I've done the theory myself. I've done those where I've gone, gone through those video or those tutorials in a lot more detail and a lot slower than I'm going to do this in. So the question basically is to find the magnitude of this, this side here that I've drawn called X. And we're given all the rest that I'm drawing in now, you're given in the uh, you're given in the book on page 25. That by the way should be a right angle. I know my drawing is quite poor. Now, just for the crack, I'm going to call this angle here gamma, this angle here phi, just for completeness. So, what are we given? We're given that tan of alpha is equal to 1 over 7, that beta is equal to 45 degrees, and we're asked to find the ratio of h, h to x. He writes it as h colon x, right? That's the ratio, which means h over x. The ratio is this divided by this, h over x. That's what a ratio is, something divided by something else. So, the procedure here is the exact same as every other question like this. And it's very simple. Once you get the procedure, they're absolutely simple. So, what else are we given? Right, we're given... Now, tan alpha is 1 over 7. So, what do we know? We know this. If you don't know where to start, just use the same procedure as usual, which is use Sokotoa and fill in all the bits and pieces that you know. Now, what do we know? We know that tan alpha is equal to 1 over 7. What's tan? Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay? But what we're given is tan of alpha is equal to 1 over 7. Compare the two of those, and what do we see? We see that the opposite of the angle alpha is 1 and the adjacent is 7. Where are they? There's the angle alpha. This side here is the opposite and it's got a value of 1. I know I haven't drawn it like that. And this one here, the adjacent of the angle alpha is equal to 7. So the adjacent is this one here. I can't say that it looks like that in the diagram. Perhaps I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, well then I'll, I'll fix it. Now, what is H, the hypotenuse? Well, we could, the hypotenuse, we're going to use what? We're going to use Pythagoras. And what did he say? He said that h squared, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the adjacent squared plus the opposite squared, such that h squared is equal to 7 squared plus 1 squared. h squared is equal to 50. h, oh, whoa, oh, you couldn't see that, I'm sorry. h is equal to the square root of 50. h is equal to... Actually, you know something? I'm going to leave it at the square root of 50 because that's just easy to manage. So, we now know the length of h. We know it's square root of 50. We know the length of this side here. This side. We know the length of this side. So what do we do inside here? Well, let's draw that, that secondary triangle again. I'm going to draw it like this. Alright. We know that this beta is there and I call it this gamma. We know that the beta is equal to 45 degrees. We also know the following. We know that this angle, this length here, is equal to 7. That's the hypotenuse on the triangle. So, Sakatoa again. Right, so we have the hypotenuse and we have the angle. So you should be able to write this straight away as 7 sine of 45. And this one here is 7 cosine of 45. So the ratio of x to h, so we know that. We know at this stage that this side here is x, x is equal to 7 cos 45. We know that h uh, is equal to h is equal to root 50. Okay, with me so far. So therefore h over x is equal to root 50 
over 7 cos 45 equals what? Let's plug that into the calculator and see what we get. You can see that just about there. So we go root 50, divide that by 7, divide that by the cosine of 45, and you get 10 over 7. Now, let's just check the back of the book to see if we have the correct answer. Exercise 1c, question 5x, sorry, h over x is equal to 10 over 7. And we got the correct answer. Now, if you understand how to apply Sakatoa to all these angles, then you're flying it. And you understand a very, very fundamental part of applied maths.